On the 7 Action News, investigators were the first to expose a questionable child removal case. It took place almost five years ago. A dad's mistake put his son in foster care, but tonight he and his wife are fighting to make sure other families never have to feel their pain. Here's investigator Ross Jones. A federal judge ruled that the couple's lawsuit against a Wayne County judge can go forward. In it, they accuse her of practicing assembly line justice. It was an unbelievable nightmare. Far worse than the death of my first child. Zimmerman's husband, a professor at the University of Michigan, mistakenly gave their seven-year-old son Mike's hard lemonade at a Tigers game. A security guard complained, and the boy ended up in foster care for three days and then was turned over to his mom. I felt totally helpless. I felt desperate. The couple contacted the American Civil Liberties Union, which sued the Department of Human Services and Wayne County Family Court Judge Judy Hartsfield, who was over the case. We found out that these sorts of things happen a lot, not to upper middle class professors, but to um, people in Detroit uh, who do not have the resources. And rather than the kids being taken away for a couple of days, they're taken away for a couple of months. They say Judge Hartsfield violated the family's rights by failing to have a hearing to determine if their son was ever in danger. Instead, they say Judge Hartsfield gave a clerk pre-signed removal orders to be filled out after after hours based solely on police allegations. To think that a judge would pre-sign an order and give police carte blanche to take away kids whenever they want without even reviewing the allegations is not only unconstitutional, it's unfathomable. This week, U.S. District Judge Avern Cohn ruled that the couple's lawsuit can go forward against Judge Hartsfield, who had claimed judicial immunity. But Cohn reasoned that Hartsfield was not acting as a judge when providing pre-signed orders, but as an administrator. Judge Cohn did dismiss the case against the Department of Human Services supervisors, saying they relied on the judge's orders. I'm Ross Jones, 7 Action News.